Okay, welcome back to part two. Um, isn't this looking lovely? Now, what I did here was I just lightened some of those. I added some kind of bright yellow into some of these, but I still want to tone them down just a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit more orange because in the reference photograph, if you can see it there, uh, I'm not sure which side it's on. There's a lot of kind of warm cyan orange ready kind of colors in there. So I'm just going to add some more of that. Okay. Now I'm taking a flat brush. I have a new flat brush here. Let me just make sure this is nice and clean down here. The handle is all stuffed up to the handle. Anyway, um, I'm going to dampen that. Now I want to warm it slightly because I still find it a little bit cold. I just want to take some cadmium red and a little cadmium yellow and some cyanide, okay? Now, I'm being very careful with the cyanide because I don't want to overdo it with cyanide. Um, so, possibly a bit more yellow in this. I just want to kind of give it a more warm, luster kind of effect. Now, I'm softening this just through the yellow here and there, not too much. Let's go and let's get some cadmium red into this <clears throat> and a little more cyanide. And as it comes up, I'm going to darken it. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just brushing this very, very lightly over the canvas, okay? Just over on top of the canvas. I'm not putting solid brush strokes on, all right? Um, let me just define this one here and pull that down a bit more. We could even <clears throat> put more red with cyanide in here. Make this really warm up here, okay? Like that, look. And kind of soften it across them with your finger. Pop a bit there. Let's pop another little bit down here. Warm it just ever so slightly down here. Okay, um, I just feel like it needs to be slightly warmer. That's all. Not in a big, big way, but just a little bit. Now I'm going to take some crimson with some burnt umber and I'm going to use that colour um, kind of down, just where it comes down into the shadows just a little bit, okay? And I'm following the contour of the book as well. Just kind of on the outside, so like that. And then I'm going to take some burnt umber into that mix and go, let's go up here and just strengthen some of the colors up there as well okay there's a very thin book up in there and another flat one and just leave it almost disappear so does that make sense now i'm going to do the same with that i'm just going to warm that one slightly as well so some cyanide maybe with some cadmium red and i'm going to go over here and just pop it in I need a bit more cyanide. I don't want to go too rich with the red in this. Uh, a bit more of the cyanide there. Perhaps a little bit through the books here as well, okay? Perhaps a tiny amount over that yellow, just to tone it down slightly. So you can see that it's just a little warmer, isn't it? Um, now, I want to darken slightly this as well because this very bright lamp is going to stand out nicely against a darker background. So I'm taking some of the burnt umber with the cyanide and the cadmium red. So you see, I was standing back earlier looking at all of this and I was thinking, you know, you kind of make changes when you stand back and you look at it for a while. Uh, it kind of makes more sense. So I decided then maybe, look, this should be a little darker in the background in here. So. It might stand out better then against this bright oil kind of a lamp here, okay? I think it's an oil lamp, isn't it? And a little bit there. Now, I'm going to darken it even more. I'm going to go with some burnt umber and some crimson. Maybe with a hint of black. And I'm just going to darken it ever so gently, just with that colour, and leave it soft in outlook. Perhaps up there as well. You know, I don't want to go too dark with all of this. I want to still retain some of the lightness, but... Okay, no, that's not bad, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a brush, a small round brush. I'm going to take some burnt umber, 
and I'm going to take a little black and I'm going to just define some of the lines a little better on, under these books, okay? Because the more you paint over these, the more you lose those dark lines and I want to keep those. Because they're really nice. Um, I'll darken this one here, look. And maybe one or two up here. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Because you're only painting an impression of this scene. You don't need to have every line exactly perfectly straight, okay? Um, it's all about just having a bit of fun while painting this lovely scene. Now, I'm going to move on to... Um, I'm thinking I'll move on to this. I might like to get this done. <clears throat> Let me just see now. Can you see everything okay? There you can. Um, I think I'll start with the dark sections. And I'm going to mix... <clears throat> it's a very, it's not a black, um, in reality the casting is kind of black but in the painting it looks like a very warm brown with hints of a light going through it. Um, so I'm going to take some burnt umber, um, I'll start I think with some burnt umber, maybe a hint of black in that and I'm just going to start, let me see now, uh, let's pick out all the dark areas in this. Let's go along here. And I'll try and get this somewhat nice now, the drawing on this. Try and make it um, really nice. Okay, so that's that. Um, I'll take an, another hint of black and possibly a hint of crimson as well. So I'm not using pure black then, it's a very warm black. And it comes up sort of like that and again look you don't have to copy the photograph exactly okay you really really don't you can just paint it completely in black if you like it's entirely up to yourself um, i'm using a very thin mix it's just a very warm very warm kind of a black color now i've made a complete mess of this already you see so i'm going to go up around like that and bring it down like this down like that. Um, you know, look, it's entirely up to yourself how you want to do this. You can just simplify it if you like. And just make it very simple. I'm not going to go into too much detail with this section. Um, I'm focused primarily on this light area in the centre in there. I think that's just wonderful. So I'm going to take some cyan with burnt umber and come down and use that slightly lighter colour down here. Okay. And what I'll do then, you see, is I'll put my darks in. I'll put my darks in afterwards. And, uh, okay, so it comes down like that. And let's bring it down just like this here, okay. Get some more burnt umber. And we'll come down and paint the base. I'm going to put the base in black, okay? Again, just very, very loosely. You don't have to be too particular with this. Don't be trying to paint it absolutely perfect because you, know, you can, if you like, just take your time and go very, very slow with all of this. Um, I like to keep the initial sketch very, very simple. And then uh, concentrate on the focal points. Okay, let's just go like that. Let's darken this a little bit more up here. And I'll darken it a bit more here. There's a light source coming from the left-hand side up here, coming down on the lamp. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I'll be just painting it dark on this side. And I'll leave the other side, okay? Um, but at the end of the day, this is all just about having a bit of fun. 
really. <clears throat> I'm not overly worried about um, getting all this perfect, you know what I mean? Now, what I want to do next is take a small brush and just go in between the handles. And I just want to fill in in between those two handles there. Um, I don't know what kind of a colour is in there. It's just... Let's just go for a neutral kind of a colour. Let's just imagine it's the table. So I just want to go for a neutral colour. Again, I don't want it too dark because we have the outline of that glass, okay? There's a little bit of an outline there. We take a little bit of brown. So it's just for a reference point for um, my glass, just to have something there, okay? That's all. Let's take a bit of crimson, maybe, and pop a little bit of crimson in. So it could be just now you're not going to see this very much, it's going to be in the background, it's just something to show in between the handles, that's all. Alright, I'm not being too fussy with it. Um, okay, put a bit of a, let me see, now we could take some crimson with a hint of cadmium yellow and some white, okay. And we could put a nice, kind of a light pinkish colour through that. I don't want to be too fussy with all of this. It's just something very loose, just to have in the background in there. Okay? And look, we can even take a very small pointy brush with some dark colour, some dark brown, and even give the impression of a little design somewhere in the back. Look, just little wiggles of the marks, of, or of the brush, just little small wiggles, just to imagine that it's I suppose, like a tablecloth or something like that. Anything at all. Um, but there's something in the background at least. Does that make sense? It's not just a flat colour. There's something going on. And we can come down here. Okay? This will all make sense now once I get this glass finished. Um, so I'm going to move on to the handles. And I'm going to start with a very dark handle on the left hand side. I can see a very dark one there. So I'm going to take some burnt umber and some black for this. And don't worry, I'll work on the lights later. The lights will always come, the lights in the dark will always come, uh, you know, after the initial filling in stage. Okay. So I'm coming down like this. Uh, again, not copying the photograph exactly because I don't want to make it exactly identical. Um, I just want to create a nice impression of this lovely scene. <coughs> okay, that's one side. Again, some burnt umber. And the other side then has a very rich colour going through it, doesn't it? Okay, now this is much wider than that, isn't it? And that was a really big mistake by me. So I'm going to bring this side in slightly. And I can bring that side out in a little bit in a moment. Let me just get this initial handle done over here. It's kind of torn slightly, you see. So one of the handles appears, it's torn slightly, you see. So one of the handles would appear slightly closer in now we're getting there slowly it's as i said it's not something which is going to be perfect the first time Let's go along here with this lighter colour, soften it down a little bit. 
Okay, in the background. Um, all right, let's see now. I think now I'll switch brushes to a very small, flat brush. And I'm going to get some warm colours on this. Very warm. Um, actually, I won't, I won't. I'll stick with the brush I just used, I think. Okay, give it a clean, a nice flat brush. Sometimes it's even difficult to know which brush to use. Um, it's just a matter of trying something, really. Let's just go with some Sienna. Some Naples yellow. Uh, I'll try a little cadmium red. And then perhaps a hint of cadmium yellow into that. Now let's go and lighten or start lightening some of these, okay? In fact, you know what? I'm going to clean my brush again and get some cadmium yellow, rich cadmium yellow down here and a hint of cadmium red. And then some white. So I just changed slightly because I just wasn't exactly sure about that colour. So a little cadmium red, cadmium yellow. And we have a slightly warmer colour now. Um, let's go right down the side of this here. Like that. I'm going to take some Born Sienna with cadmium red. Okay? And then I'm going to Soften that in through here and this will be a little bit difficult now to get right because the colors are very wet aren't they? So They're really mixing in together So it will take a little bit of practice I'm going to go down the outside edge of this and just Hit that with a bit of a light going across like that and again, I'm cleaning my brush each time because when you mix this orange into that kind of blacky colour, it's going to want to kind of go a hint of green. So you need to be just a little bit careful with that, all right? A bit more red in this. Soften it out. Again, pick that colour up again. And I'll put a hint of that colour down here. And it's all basically just about the light reflecting off of different parts of this. I'm just doing this now very loosely to begin with. And I kind of go into more of the detailed stuff then at a later stage. So, for instance, let me just go very quickly around here. Okay, just like that. Take a bit more red in that. And I'm going to just go... There's a kind of a round base here, isn't there? Like that. Okay. I'm just taking my time, going along nice and slowly doing this. Um, I go up the top and start doing a little bit up there. So a very rich kind of an orangey colour. It's almost a little bit more on the yellow side up there, isn't it? But I'm going to stick with this colour that I have and I'll put another one here like that I'm going to take some red on its own and I'm going to just soften some red into this and then I'm going to take some red maybe even with some crimson and I'm going to come down here and Add that warm colour in down here and soften it. Let's take some cadmium red with some cyanide. And I'm just kind of taking a lot of different colours now, I know. But I'm just trying to create that kind of effect of the, the glow from the lamp, okay? You'll see what I mean now very soon.
I'm going to put a dark burnt umber and sienna in the middle of this here. Okay, just to show bottom of that lamp kind of coming up. I'll take a little black. I want to darken it on one side. Maybe with a hint of red. And I'm going to darken it on one side here. Okay. It's slowly coming together. Now I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to, in fact, you know what I'll do? I'll take a smaller round brush and I'm going to put a hint of light out here. I'm going to take some Naples yellow with a little crimson and I'm going to suggest some light hitting this. I need a lot more crimson in this. Naples yellow with crimson. This is a very a light, soft kind of a pink. Maybe a hint of cadmium yellow. And take a little hint more of the crimson. And I'm going to go along here and just kind of catch some of the lights just slightly. Perhaps one or two in here. And clean the brush. I go down here and I suggest a few lights catching down here. And this is one of those paintings that you can just really kind of <clears throat> play around with. Let me get some black and some crimson, with some cadmium red even. And I'm going to just start putting in some darks. Some nice warm darks down here. There's a nice dark in here, going kind of up. Okay. And it's very dark over here. And we have another dark kind of on this side. So I mean it's 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 tricky but still I just try to keep it simple. Do you understand? Um you can just really take your time if you wish, or you can just keep it simple. I prefer to keep it simple, but at the same time, try and add a little bit of detail. Uh, just trying to make it, you know, believable, I suppose. It doesn't have to look realistic, but just, I like to try and make it believable. Just a little bit anyway. Okay, now let me get some very dark black, put some very dark black down here. And it's nice to be able to just take our time with something like this as well. Now I'm going to start lightening the handles, okay? And what I mean by lightening, start giving them a bit of a glow. So I'm going to take some yellow, some cadmium yellow, and I'll take a hint of cadmium red. And with that now, to start with, lots of thick paint, I'm going to just start... Going like that, okay? Now I need more cadmium red in this. So I'm going to start off actually with a slightly darker colour. Then I'm cleaning my brush again. I'll do the same over here. Get some more cadmium red, little cadmium yellow. And as it comes up higher, I'm going to go much darker. Cadmium red with cyanide. Okay. 
the same over here. I do the same down the bottom, like that. And add a bit to this. And then I'll add a bit of that color to the top up here. Then I'm going to go into some of the rich kind of bright color, okay? Um, actually, one thing I'm going to do first is just cast a shadow on this. Like that. Then clean the brush. And I'm going to go into some very rich color, some cadmium yellow, a hint of cadmium red. Now, I'll start with that color first, I think. Okay. Then I will give it a splash of very bright color in the center, just with some cadmium yellow and some white. And I will just give it a very bright splash just in there, okay? Like that. So we're getting the effect of that light coming out. And hitting the sides. Now I'm gonna go on and start doing this glass piece in the center, okay? Let me just see now the camera recording fine, everything looks good. Yeah, that's good. Right, I'm gonna take a flat brush, a nice small, clean, flat brush, and um, let me see, I'm going to just clean my thinners because it's getting very dirty, okay? So let me just soak it up first, and then I'll put some clean thinners into this. And let's just get that flat brush now, and I'm going to go again with a very rich, vibrant kind of a color. So some cadmium yellow uh, with a tiny hint of cadmium red, okay? Now I'll take a little bit more red. Um, I'm going for a nice, rich, bright orange kind of a color, okay? Let me just put that, paint in your glass. And the thing about having this kind of cyana under color is you need to be careful when using yellows because the cyana will show through the yellow and give it a kind of a greeny hue. So just be a little careful with that. Okay. If anything, add a little bit more red. Just to neutralize those greens. So now I have a nice little globe effect. Let me just round it a little more on this side. Okay. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do then is start darkening it slightly here and there just to give the effect of the light bouncing around inside it, you see? Just on the outside. You can see that kind of effect inside actually. Whereas there's a little bit of dark here and there, kind of creeping around, popping in and out. Okay, then I'll suggest, with some burnt sienna, suggest something going on in the base. So a little piece of a candlestick or a little bit of a fitting or something. Now, let me just stand back and take a look at that. And then... <coughs> That very bright section 
in the middle is going to be cadmium yellow and plenty of white okay and let's just simply dart this around like this you see and not forgetting to clean your brush each time you do this okay and what I might actually do then is let me just get some cadmium yellow I'm going to take a palette knife so I might try a palette knife let's see have I a nice small palette knife here somewhere I should have one there we go I'm going to take a palette knife right and make sure it's clean This one is not clean because I have a bit of burnt sienna on it. Let's take some cadmium yellow and a little white. Okay. And let's just use that and pop some very bright colour in there. Almost giving the effect of a flame kind of bursting out inside. You see? Now, let's take a look at this. There, how's that? And we could maybe soften it in slightly, if you want. There and there. Okay. And the next step then, in fact, what we could do, look, is take a little bit of white on its own and pop a little bit of white just into the centre, there and there. That will make it just pop a little bit more. Then I'll take a very small brush and now I'm going to draw those little wiggly fellas. Um, I suppose I'll take some black crimson now you could wait until this is dry if you like okay because it's wet into wet but I'm just going to try it I'll take some black with some crimson that crimson will neutralize the black so it doesn't go green as you go through that yellow I'm hoping that's the idea let's take lots of this and let's just go that take a bit more crimson okay and let's go like that okay again sit back take a look there we are, that's not bad. Um, I'll darken the base just around here. Like that. All right. You could, if you like, perhaps put let actually let's just sharpen up here first okay sharpen that out um I, I was going to suggest putting a hint of dark just on the outside here and there just to define it slightly but we don't really need to okay yeah that's fine um, I'll refine this one just here a little bit. And then I will actually put a nice rich bright uh, with some yellow and some white. Uh, 
I'll put this nice rich bright colour uh, just along one side of this. So imagine the light is kind of catching it slightly. Clean up brush each time. Now we have a couple going on to the handle as well. They're like little straps. So I'm going to put one or two around on the handle as well. Like that. And even one coming off of that down here. Okay. It's just a bit of an effect. I can kind of see it there. So it's just, I want to just get a little bit of that effect, you know. So a little bit of cadmium red with yellow there and on the bottom. And then I'm just going to do the top up there. I want to just pop a little bit of a top on it because I'm short the top or missing the top. Let's go with some burnt umber and black. And let's just make one up, okay? I'm just going to go like that, like that. And along with that. Now, even that would do just fine, okay? And a little bit of this thing up there. And then you could just simply add a few little lights to that as well. So a little bit of that orangey color. And let's just pop a little bit like that, okay? And a little tiny bit on the top. That's all you need to do. You don't, you don't have to go to extreme details on this. See? That will do fine. Now, I'm looking and looking and looking and I want to do a little, I want to put a little highlight just here and there on some of those darks, okay? Because they're not showing out as much as they should show out, I suppose. A little bit there, um, a little bit. There and there. Okay, just like that. And I'm calling that finished for now, just for now. Um, we can always come back to it. What, I'm, what I need to do is just give a little shadow on the handle. That, okay? Now we're going to move on to these books. I'm just going to try and get at least this one big book down here, okay? Because I'm excited to try these books. Now I just need to grab some tissue for cleaning. And I'm going to take a large, large flat, all right? Now I've cleaned my turpentine and I'm going to clean my brush. And this book here, I'm going to start with a very warm pink. All right. Um, it looks to me like there's a warm pink going through that, that color. So I'm going to take some white and I'm going to take some crimson. And I'm going to take a hint of cadmium yellow. Okay. Just a hint. But there's going to be more pink than there is yellow in this. Now we'll mix up a good bit of this, okay? Because we have a lot, a lot of this book to paint. Another tiny bit of yellow. Let's take a look at this now, that's not bad. I'll go with this as my kind of base color and I can lighten it then or darken it as I need, you see? So let's go along and do this outside page. It comes along like that, doesn't it? And then it comes, it's, I'm going to fill it in, all in, with this. 
go over your lines. And now let's just fill this in for now. You see, you have to remember as well, the brown underneath is showing through. So that's going to affect the final color. Um, that can be tricky with a tinted canvas. So you have to allow for all these little things. So when you're mixing colors and you're doing a tinted canvas, you have to remember that you have a base color of brown already. Um, and that will affect how the color mixes with the new color on top. It's just something to remember, I think. And uh, it's very good practice trying something on a tinted canvas like this because it helps you kind of understand colors and how different colors interact with each other. Does that make sense? Here we go. Now I'm going to warm it slightly with some cadmium red. So I'll take a little cadmium red and a little cadmium yellow again into that. Okay, I'm going to soften it all out like that. Now I know it needs to be much, much darker in reality and it will darken, don't worry. I'm just doing this to just get my initial lighter colours on the canvas. Now I will start darkening this page slightly over here. I'm going to go with some cadmium red, some crimson and some cadmium yellow. Then I'll take a little bit of white into that. And I suppose the tricky thing about painting like this is that in reality, you know that um, a book page is white or a very light cream, we'll say. But trying to translate that colour into a scene like this where it's just a candlelight or something, it can be quite difficult, especially for beginners, to understand how the colours will change. So even though you know it's a white page, in reality, looking at the photograph, it's not. There's the pinks and those greys going through this. Um, I'm just going to switch hands here for a moment. I'm going to soften some of that colour through here as well. So that's why, again, try different scenes. Don't be afraid to try something different because, you know, if you stick to landscapes all the time, constantly, um, and you become very good at landscapes, you're just limiting yourself then with everything else. So it's a good idea to just at least try different subjects like this. I really do think it is. It's very, very good practice, and it's great fun as well. Now, I'm just putting a warmer colour in here, just in that corner there, okay? I'm going to soften it out. Following the direction of the page. Okay, and I take some more cadmium yellow with Naples yellow, I think, and I put that down here. All right. Now, let's have a look. Um, I'm going to start putting some greys into it. I am actually going to, first of all now, take a little bit of crimson with some white. Because I can see a very pinky colour over here. And even though this is a simple thing like a book, there are lots of different colours going through this. I'm going to make now a nice warm kind of a grey for this, right? Um, because where the pages fold over, there's a nice warm grey in there. I'm going to take some black, okay? Only a little amount of black, lots of white and crimson. And that will give me a nice warm grey, okay? I'm going to go 
um, inward crease is here and I'm going to just pull it up like this look out and over okay creating the effect of that lump in the book now let's take a bit more let's try some more black a little bit more crimson and I'm going to go um, in here in fact I'll darken it a bit more and perhaps a hint of burnt umber even as well okay and I'm going to start down this side with that and then flick that across okay now it's mixing to the color underneath that's okay we're just we're gradually strengthening the colors as we go a bit more each time now I'm going to darken out here because that's still very bright isn't it I'm going to go with some crimson little white a little naples yellow a little cadmium yellow i'm going to darken this slightly it's a little bit bright isn't it now there we are and Okay, let's have a look at this now. I'm going to darken some more greys and put some more greys into this. And don't forget, we have the writing as well. Okay, so let's take some black, some crimson, and a little burnt umber. Perhaps even a hint of sienna, okay? But I want to put plenty of crimson in this because the crimson gives it that pinkyish kind of a colour. I'm going to go out here. Like that, okay? Go again. There we are. So I'm going to soften it along. You can even leave it like that, where the grain is catching the, the paint here and there. That's quite a nice effect. And let's just go down. Right down like that, okay? Well, there. How's that looking? I know it's still a bit, it's still a bit bright, isn't it? I think we're going to have to darken this a huge amount. Let's get some crimson, and let's get some burnt umber. Okay, and a little burnt sienna. Let's darken this a fair bit. Let's try it. Okay, um, let's go up here with this color. Clean the brush, go back in again. A bit more burnt umber, a little bit more sienna, I think, just to warm it slightly. Is that more like it? I think so. So you see, it's never right the first, it, it never will be right the very first time. You have to keep tipping away until you feel you have it right. Now, I'm going to mix a nice dark grey um, just for inside, the inside of that book, okay? It needs to be nice and dark. all right and i'm going to take some burnt umber in that i'm going to go here flick it out this way like so then let's flick it the other way now i've warmed it slightly with a little bit of Sienna and crimson because the overall tone of the painting is quite warm so I 
want to keep all the colors warm and i may wait until this dries before i before i add some more darks in here because i'm just mixing wet into wet all the time now it's not too bad but it would save you a lot of trouble if you just waited until this was completely dry and then add some darks i'm just going to take some burnt umber with a hint of black and i'm going to just go down the middle of this like so okay and then i'm going to put in this section here i'm going to take uh let me see what kind of a color is that now it's a warm color isn't it i'll go with some burnt cyanide some cadmium red and a hint of cadmium yellow let's just start on this side let me take a look at this now that's a bit um yellow for me i'll take more crimson in that i'm just going to start with this color now and then i can add colors to it i get a little bit more crimson perhaps a hint of black even just as we come in here okay then what i'm going to do is start lightening this i'm going to take some naples yellow with some crimson okay and i'm going to use that color first and just pull it straight across okay like that leave it soften out then go back in again Pull it straight across the pages. Imagine the pages now going across this way, all right? And then do it again. There we go. <clears throat> then I'm going to take my small flat brush. I'm going to get some cadmium yellow, some naples and perhaps a bit of white and i'm going to just fill in the side of the book here it's very it's a very whitey yellow isn't it it's a very very rich color there may even be a hint of cadmium red in that as well okay And I'll pull some of that brighter color in here as well. Now I'll go to my small brush. Uh, now, there's still a very warm color there, which I just don't have yet. I'm going to try and get that warm color. I'll take some cadmium yellow with some cadmium red. Or no, cadmium yellow with some crimson. Okay. There's a lovely warm color up here which i really love and it's a tricky color to get right now don't worry about the handle we can fix the handle any time at all okay let's just get this warm glow from the that candle nice warm glow from that candle okay onto the book and as it comes down further in, it just gets slightly brighter, doesn't it? Okay, just like that. Some yellow and some white. Soften that across like that, okay? Now, let's take some of that colour and go down here. And I'll take some of that color as well and go across in here. So it's just where they all meet in this corner. It's a very kind of a bright 
colour on the book, isn't it? Let me get some Naples yellow. I'll take some Naples yellow with some crimson. And I'm going to soften some of that through here. Let's take a hint of cadmium yellow actually as well. So now I'm dragging, you see, I'm dragging these thicker colours then over the top of what's there. Okay. And I even pop a little bit of the warm pinky colour over on the other side as well. And maybe put a hint of that yellowy colour on that side as well. Just to complement the opposite side, okay? Just a hint, look. Hint of it just here and there. And it's coming on quite nice, I would say. I think it's coming on quite nice. Stand back and take a look. And let me take a soft brush. I'm going to take a very soft blender brush and just start softening some of these around in that shape. Look, the shape of that page. Same on this side. Then I'm going to move on and do the writing. And I have a little idea for the writing. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But I have this lovely sword brush here, okay? And I'm thinking, if I take... This is a new one. It was sent to me by a very good friend. Um, if I take a little bit of very thin black paint, right? Very watery black. Then if I just drag very lightly, let me just soak up this now a little bit, like this. How about that? Does that work? I don't know, but I'm trying it anyway. Look at that. Um, a fan brush would probably do as well. Wouldn't it? Let me just go up here. So I don't think that's too bad. It's going to be slightly darker just in here, where it's kind of slightly in the shadows. Let me take a bit more burnt umber, darken it ever so slightly in there. And I'll do the same on the other side. I'll darken it here. Now, just stand back and take a look at this. That's not bad, is it? It's not too bad at all. I will take another little bit of black and a little hint of burnt umber and I'm going to just take another Let's try this. I want to darken it slightly over here. Okay. I think that looks a little bit more believable. And I'll take some cyan point umber and go up here. And I leave it, I'm going to leave it like that for now, and then I'm going to just <coughs> come down on the hair and start working on some of that. So I'm going to clean my small flat brush. 
I'm going to go to some Naples yellow for this and I'm going to just pop some Naples yellow across here like that then take a small pointy brush I'm going to take some burnt umber with black okay not very not a very very dark color and I'm gonna in fact I'll take a little hint of cyanide as well okay and I'm going to go in under this top page first separate that okay then I'm going to give an impression of some of the pages the spaces between the pages okay just like that have to take a tiny hint of black and I give one or two straight ones okay then I'm going to take lots of black and go in under this book okay now we have a bigger shadow just under there is the shadow actually going down onto the book underneath okay so it comes across like that it comes down quite a bit then it comes over like that doesn't it so you see I could I could rush this along now and finish it very quickly for my tutorial but I don't want to I want to take my time and do it nice so I'm going to wait until part three and then continue on again okay is that fair enough Let me stand back and take a quick look at how we're getting on. I think I'll just finish this part of the book over here, okay? Because I think that's quite nice. I want to get that nice. So I'm going to take some cadmium red with burnt umber and fill in this dark section of the book. It's not completely black. There's a bit of warmth in there. So I'm going to try some cyanide as well so you see it's not completely black okay and I might add a little couple of darks just here and there and then what I'm going to do is clean that color off my brush and go for a nice warm warm rich warm kind of a pink again so crimson cadmium yellow let me just take a look at that maybe a little hint of naples yellow okay let's just go and put that color in little more hint of Naples yellow I'm gonna take and drag that color out you see no, how was that? Now I'm going to take some crimson with cadmium yellow in that and just soften some of that colour out at the edge. And I want to use that colour as well actually to warm the edge of these pages here. So the colour translates all the way up 
to the book, okay? To the open page. Now, I'm going to then take my pointy brush, get some of that light pinky colour with some crimson and Naples yellow, and I'm simply going to just pop some of that in. And let's just create some of the pages. Over here. And then to finish this off, I'm going to take some dark color. I'll get some, uh, I'll get some black, okay? Just some black. And I'm going to just define again some of the lines in these pages here. Some of the darks, okay? You could use a palette knife for this now as well if you wanted. The palette knife would work quite well. If you're more of a solid line, but I like to kind of soften the colours together slightly as well. And I'm going to turn. Turn some of them down slightly. Like so. Okay? Now let me just take a look. Sit back now again and take a look at this. Okay, that's not too bad. No, that's not too bad at all. Okay? Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Just add a bit more colour there. Sharpen up these lines here again. And my friends, I will leave it at that for now. Um, you may, if you wish, take a palette knife. Now, I don't know if I'm going to spoil this or not, but I'm going to try. I'm going to take a palette knife with some of the warm colour, that cadmium yellow with whitey kind of a colour, and I'm just going to go onto the edge of my book here. And drag some of that colour, just like that. Just to catch the edge of the page and then I'm going to go to the front of the book and drag something like that, okay? It's just nice to get that kind of effect every now and again. And in fact, we could do the same with some of a deeper colour here as well. You see, just creating a little bit of texture across the book, that's all. And let's take a little hint of crimson with some of that yellowy colour. And pop a little bit of that. Here, I'll take a little hint of that yellow as well. And give it a hint of light. Just there, okay? Now, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, I'm pretty happy with that so far. I can still, we can still work away, but um, yeah, I might do a bit more work on the book here, colour-wise. Um, yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, in fact, I might just darken it slightly up on the top right-hand corner, okay? I think it needs to be a little darker. I'm just not quite happy enough with that. I'm going to darken it. And we can go back over the writing again. I just feel it needs to be a little bit darker up there. Uh, I'll take some cadmium red, some cyanide, and some burnt umber. Okay, and even add a very warm orange up there. Okay, 
okay then I'll go back to my small brush and just pop in some of that writing again let's just pop it in there a little bit of black a little bit of brown and let's go that and a little bit more here okay and a bit more here now I will leave that and call this part two finished yes that's part two finished thank you so much for watching um, I'll be right back with part three very very soon um, I hope you like it so far let me know what you think um, I can fix all that we'll we'll have a look at this in a minute in part three okay don't go anywhere